Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sherry and my channel is Blue Gemini. So I just wanted to get on real quick. Um, I was gonna make this video earlier, but my baby woke up. So, so um, I just made dinner and everything. I made pork chops. So I'm, yeah, I don't eat pork chops. So, but my babies are in there tearing it up. So, I wanted to make a video about Walt's live yesterday. Oh my god. I love his lives because he doesn't, it's almost like he doesn't care. Well, he doesn't care, but he doesn't, he, he's like, um, he doesn't catch on to a lot of the comments, especially the bad ones about Nisha. <laughs> so... It's just so funny to me because he's the reason, like, he kind of eggs on more comments just by his cluelessness. Um, so yesterday's live was like, yeah, it was a good one. Um, his, his last two have been pretty good. Um, I don't know if he has, does he have moderators to him want? Or does he just, like, have Katrina G? I know Nisha's a moderator, but she yeah <laughs> she made sure she showed him pop up on his stuff yesterday but i don't think katrina g um deletes like they were deleting because i know on nisha's live genuinely nisha it's like every other comment gets deleted but watch are so entertaining because pretty much everything people wanted to say to nisha on her live that would have got deleted they just say it to watts <laughs> Oh my God, I would hate being his girlfriend on YouTube if I was her. I low-key think that the YouTube streets are running her away because she hasn't posted for like six days, especially after that little collab she bogarted. Like, she know as soon as she get on live, she gonna get all kind of messages about why were you there? Why did you keep bursting out with weird stuff? Why did you keep whispering? It's just like so many questions. She ain't gonna answer none of them, of course. But I'm waiting for it <laughs> just so I can read those comments. But Walt's live yesterday was so funny. Oh my God. The highlight, I cannot believe he called Nisha Big Worm. I mean, Big Perm or Big Worm. I always get it mixed up. His name's Oh, he calls, he called, okay, he says, what's up, big perm? I mean, big worm. Okay, I need to watch Friday. Oh, that's like one of my favorite movies. But, yeah, he called her that. <laughs> and laughed about it. Oh, my God. I swear, he's always so clueless. I don't even know if he realized people were calling her big worm. I low-key feel like he thought somebody just said it and he was just, you know, paraphrasing from the movie back to her as like a jokey joke, but she knew. Girl, you know your name. She knew they was talking to her. <laughs> Walt may have been clueless, but she knew. That's why she just looked at him stone-faced, get a little fake laugh and just brushed it off. I honestly don't even understand the point of her being in the video. Like, you're not interacting. As much as I hate when she, like, bogarts into his lives, it's just like, girl, if you are going to be in it and you're going to be in camera shot, I'm going to need you to have some act right. You can't be doing weird stuff in the background. Like, girl, who is you mad at? She sat there with a little stank attitude the whole time, even though she mad at us, y'all. <laughs> She's mad at the people. <laughs> So she just sat there so stank faced on her phone. It's like, girl, isn't there another side of the room you can go to? Like, I know your place ain't that small that you just had to be up under wall. Knowing what the comments were saying, knowing the people were saying, wall, put the camera away from her. I don't want to see her big old arm in the camera. Like, knowing what people were saying, I would have been like, all right, I'm going to catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over there. <laughs> like if she would have been out of the com out of the comments, all the little extras probably wouldn't have happened. 
they would have still been talking, you know, saying their little stuff as far as the comments. But it was so much that was said just because of the fact that she was sitting in the camera view with an obvious attitude. An obvious attitude. Walt acted like he didn't understand what people were talking about when they said she had an attitude. But dude, like, <laughs> I'm sure that attitude continued after the video was over just because of the fact that he was sitting there laughing at all the little things, which I don't blame him. Like, Walt is the kind of person that, like he said, he doesn't care if people are talking about him or anything. Nothing really ever seems to get him worked up except for saying something about Adrian, like saying saying something about him being a user or something, you know, some, one of the negative things Adrian said, or certain things about Cindy. But even with Cindy, like he doesn't, he gets irritated more than like, he doesn't take it personal. He just gets irritated of hearing the same thing. And then once the moment's over, he's over it. Like that's one good quality that makes Walt good for YouTube because you got to have some thick skin. You got to have a mentality that is just like, I just don't care. Some people have that. Like me, I have that. Like I laugh at stuff like that. Like I can laugh at myself. If somebody were to tell me like, oh my gosh, Sherry, Next time, brush your hair because it keep like going up in the back. But if somebody was to tell me that, I'm going to just be like, my bad. Like, <laughs> it doesn't offend me. And Walt seems like he's like that. Like, he lets us know, I don't care. And Nisha seems like she just takes it so personal, which... No, I was going to say, I could see why, because that's... He's... He's her, I don't even know if I would call it a boyfriend. He's her roomie. But then again, is he even paying, is he paying bills there? Because that ain't even her house. So he's her, I don't even know what you would call that. Because I don't think he's freeloading because I would hope he's not freeloading. But Walt doesn't seem like things like, that register to him like I don't know it just doesn't seem like that registers even with the whole Adrian situation like I, I I'm with Walt on that but you should have got that thousand in the beginning just you know just for being you know just 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 for invading somebody's space so I don't think Walt which most men don't think like that they don't think like oh let me do it this way they have a way that they do things already. And it's just kind of like, it just is what it, what it is. Men don't have that, um, what is it? Like that, not, mm, like that common sense factor with certain situations. Not everything, just certain situations. But it just makes me wonder, like, is he? Is he paying anything? It ain't even our business, but it's just like, okay. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I mean, she, she she said, how do we even know she's paying anything? Like, girl, you probably not because it came out now that you at your grandma's house. And it's obvious, like, as, as much as she doesn't want to answer it and stuff, it's obvious, girl. It's obvious. You can look at the decor of that house and know that's an old person's house. Don't know young person of 30. She's in, mm, she's not old, but she's, she's. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't consider her young. I'm 32 and I feel like I'm not young anymore. So she's 37. Yeah. We know your age again, 37. So I feel like I lost my train of thought. Oh, her decor. <laughs> My bad. I be having blind moments where it's like, it makes me feel like Homer Simpson when those things are just going in his head. Oh my God. I have moments like that where I'm just like, wait, what was I thinking of? But yeah, but yeah, that's not her house. That's her grandma's house. Don't know young person have tablecloths anymore for one. And that's an old tablecloth. There's a video where you can see it's an old tablecloth. 
okay? And under that tablecloth is an old rusty dusty table because it is the tablecloth slipped on a video before. That's not a young person's decor. I'm sorry. And it's not even like talking nothing bad about the grandma or nothing. It's just that's not a that's not a young person's decor. That booth kitchen table is not a young person's decor. So girl, we know that ain't your house. Where your grandma at though? Like, do she know what's going on at her house? Do she know y'all just up there playing house? Do she? Like, man. But um, yeah, so back to his live. So <laughs> it was just so crazy that he just kept saying the negative comments. It was funny for the viewers, but it was just kind of like, is he really this clueless to what people are talking about? He called her, what did he call her? He called her nasty Nisha. <laughs> And it's like, dude, do you know that these are all insults? And you sitting here laughing, not even like laughing like to yourself, like in your head and just reading it and just, <laughs> he laughing and she sitting next to him. He <laughs> nasty Nisha, <laughs> big worm. I mean, big perm. <laughs> like I said it wrong. <laughs> but it's just like, he's saying it right next to her and she's in the camera. So we see her response. She knows we see her response. <laughs> and Walt is just so oblivious to it. I think he, when, when somebody called her Bertha and he was laughing, he was like, Bertha's not a good thing. <laughs> it's like, dude, like, why are you pointing it out? You may be laughing with her, but we laughing at her. Like, I'm not sure if he realizes that we're not we're not laughing at the same things what like <laughs> is it we're not people in the comments just go hard on her and she just i mean he just doesn't get it even with the blocking like it's just weird she's gonna make a lot of people get a lot of views by doing videos on her weird stuff that she does like even just the blocking like, low-key, she seems like a pathological liar. Like, she really believes her lies. Like, on that last live, when everybody was sitting there saying, she's deleting, she's deleting, and you just see her. You hear the clicks. And she, when Walt's talking to her, she's, like, acting brand new. But it's like, girl, do you realize it's, like, a thousand people watching you? No, not on her live. She ain't getting a thousand. It's, like, 500 people watching you that see what you're doing, that hear what you're doing, hear the clicks. So for him to call her out on the on the um blocking people and she played dumb. She played dumb like what? And I think he knew she was playing dumb though. Because normally he'll be like, "Oh, okay, she didn't do it. Y'all always blame Nisha." And then let it go. But he seemed confused like, "I didn't block nobody. Who blocked them? Did you block them?" And when she played dumb, it was just like, "Okay, well, I'm going to unblock them." I know that made her hot. I know that made her hot. It's like, girl, how many people you got on that block list? I think somebody in the comments, I don't know how they see or or how they know or something, but somebody said it's like a hundred people blocked. And I believe it. Like somebody said that they got blocked for calling him handsome. Like, girl, are you really that insecure that the only way that you can be secure in your relationship is to just try and block every female that, that gives him any type of compliment. Like that seems tiring. That seems real tiring. And at the end of the day, all that really does is just egg these women on even more to keep going. Because as soon as they were talking about a particular person, I forget the name being blocked. And I think Katrina G unblocked her or Nisha snuck and unblocked her or something. She hopped up on that live and was doing the same little flirt and stuff, which is harmless. Like, girl, you act like anybody that's talking to him. Well, shoot, you did it. So I get, shoot, the same way you get them is the same way you lose them. At the end of the day, like, shoot, Cindy got them off of looking them up on or um, following them online and all that stuff and reaching out to him that way. And then she lost them. And then he moved on to another another one. 
another online person. So I could see why Nisha would be nervous about that because at the end of the day, she knows that's what she did. She knows she was sitting up in his lives and commenting. And she was just saying basic stuff. I'm from Milwaukee. I'm from Milwaukee. I'm from Milwaukee. She was just saying her super basic stuff. And these women out here pretty much throwing it at him. Like letting him know, like, come this way. Come to Vegas with me. So she, she knows there's a lot of people out there that low-key can take her spot. And not just because she looks like the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> but because she just doesn't seem like she fits with him. Like, <clears throat> I get people don't know what's really going on behind closed doors and all that. But at the same time, it's like we can, we've seen Walt enough to know his ways with certain things. We know he don't listen to nobody. I was just watching an old video earlier today with him and Cindy. And he was talking about how he left home when he was 16 and was on his own. And once he did that, he ain't got to listen to nobody. And a lot of people think like that when they leave home early and they have to pretty much take care of themselves. From a young age, they're just like, I don't have to listen to nobody. You listen to your parents when, you know, as you're, as you're getting older, your parents are like the only ones, you know, for a fact, you have to listen to. But it's like when you don't have your parents there at a young age and you're pretty much taking care of yourself, it's like, I wouldn't listen. It's like, shoot, I ain't listened to nobody since I was 15. This is hypothetical. I still listen to my mom now, <laughs> but it's like. He hasn't listened to nobody since he was 15. He ain't about to start now at 47 or whatever, however old he is. 43, 43. But he's not about to start now. And he's especially not about to start with no female. It's not somebody who he's been with for years. And it's just like, we've grown to just, you know, learn each other and learn how to deal with you. Nah, this is somebody fresh off the YouTube streets. Okay. And she just comes off as bossy. She just comes off like, she wants to be the one in charge and she thinks she is just because Walt isn't like as he's not as knowledgeable about YouTube. So she probably really believes that she's pulling one over on Walt by like blocking people and deleting comments and stuff. But I low key think Walt knows. I think when he gets told something and he's just like, Oh, okay. I think that's like, it registers in his head every time it's bought up again. And I think he keeps note of it to where it's like, okay, he's going to eventually notice it. That's why he, he just said, I'm going to unblock people with yesterday's live. People have told him before that she blocks. Okay. So what made it different yesterday to say, okay, I'm going to go unblock people. I think he, he, I think he, he, I think he, I don't think he's as stupid as people think. I really think that Walt is from the hood and he's been around enough rats to know what's real what's fake females ways he done said before he's been around so he he's dealt with enough females to know the type now he's probably just giving the benefit of the doubt to nisha and stuff but honestly like we could see where it's gonna go i'm pretty sure she gives him crap about um collabing with katrina because he has so much fun when he's collabing with her and don't no female want to see their man having more fun with some other female than with their self. It's no female. It don't matter how you look. Don't no female want no other female to make their man laugh and have more fun than they would have with them. Like point blank. So I know she hates that. I know she hates going when he goes to Katrina G's because they put multiple videos out <clears throat> and they just seem like they have fun. And people in the comments pretty much put Katrina and Walt together so it's like I know she feels the type of way she's probably said her little stuff to him and he done went about his way and collabed <laughs> yesterday she said um they Walt said that they were saying something in the comments I forget what but she made a little comment on the side talking about aren't they always right or something like that but it pretty much just told me that y'all didn't had this conversation outside of this camera She's, she's obviously has said stuff about, you know, the comments and just the, you know, stuff that just is going on with them on YouTube. So for her to say that little smart, you know, comment tells me that they probably had a conversation about it already. 
And he, it was probably something that he called her out on because she was sarcastic about like, oh, but they're always right though. Remember? Like y'all know, y'all know those kind of comments. Y'all know that's the kind of comment where they done got into it or something about something that happened and Walt, Walt believed us. He believed the people or he questioned it too much. So to her, it's like, uh, well, you believe them anyways, which is like, as he should, like, girl, what? We see it. He could look, he, if he were to look back on videos with her, he probably doesn't because I don't think he watches YouTube, he said. But if he were to look back on videos with her, he would see it. He would see the little weird stuff. He would see that she deletes his cash apps. I like the fact that people have started calling it out in the comments with the cash app. So, because I didn't notice it until people started saying like, well, you had a cash app. It, it didn't get shown. It got deleted. When they say uh, like something in it, like a flirting comment or something like that in it. I never realized that. So I'm glad that people started calling her out. I'm glad that they call her out with every little thing because girl, you can't be shady and think you're getting away with it. You may think you're pulling one over on Walt, but we're watching from the outside in. Okay. Walt got rose colored goggles on right now. He got, he got honeymoon goggles on right now, but we, we're, we're seeing it. Like it's almost to the point to where I don't know who was worse, her or Cindy. Only thing with Cindy Cindy was boring as hell and she still seemed like she complained about stuff with YouTube the same way Nisha does, but they lasted a year for a reason. That's the only like upside to Cindy. I can't stand Cindy, but that's the only upside to her is that you were off obviously doing something right. Y'all were, y'all were clicking enough somewhere for it to last a whole year. Okay. So I feel like Cindy didn't start having these moments like what Nisha's having up until the end. And even then, like she wasn't moderating and, you know, I don't even think she knew about all that. How the hell do Nisha know about all this stuff with YouTube when she never had but one video years ago? Like, why is she so involved in YouTube already? I can see if she had some videos and, you know, she's familiar with it, but it low-key seemed like the girl went and did research. Like, how do, how do I block people? How do I become a mod? What do the mods do? Like, it's just like, why do you know so much already? Like, that, that, that to me is like a red flag. Like, you really went and studied how to control this man's page. And that's weird to me. But I don't think she's going to last very much longer. <laughs> I don't. Because at the end of the day, Walt's going to do what he wants to do. And she seems bothered by it. She seems like the type that would tell him like, oh, you need to tell that person, don't say that to you. You need to tell this person to stop. You need to block this. She seems like that type. And dudes don't like that, especially the type like Walt. Like, he's not going to be controlled. He's one of them kind of people that you just have to accept how they are. Which he's not a bad guy. It's just he's stuck in his own ways. I mean, he's older. He's grown. He's pretty much been grown since 16. You can't change his ways. And if you do change his ways, it seems like somebody would have to be with him for a long time. And then he would slowly, you know, change certain things. But girl, you like, what, two months in? He's not... He's not changing nothing for you. He ain't stopping nothing. He gonna go collab with who he wanna collab. I can't wait till he goes and he collabs with like a, um, um, a subscriber or a viewer that's been in his lives asking him to um, to collab and flirting with him and stuff. Like, I, <laughs> that's gonna be so funny. I wonder if Nisha gonna pop up for that one too. Like she did that poor family. And it's kind of weird that she doesn't pop up for Katrina G's collapse. She did the very first time, but that was before, you know, the streets knew who she was. But I wonder, like, when he does another collab, is she going to be there? Is she going is, is to dare to go into another collab after all the crap she got for this last one? If she do, oh my God, I kind of hope that she does just because I don't know. It's, it just, it's so funny to me. 
it her weirdness is so funny the fakeness is so funny because it's just so obvious and i don't i really don't think that she realizes that i don't think i i really really think that she thinks she's pulling one over and it's weird it's it's like um pathological liar stuff or what is what is the other word what is the, what is the word for that is it a nurse narcissist somebody who like constantly can lie and they really believe what they're doing and it's working and everything but from the outside looking in people can see like no we can see right through it what what is that what is that word called for all my um psychology people out there what's that word called but I hope that she posts a video soon. <laughs> I hope she posts a live soon. I really do. Because it, she letting the people just have, just just build up. Just build up. Like, people got questions. And when she gonna do this Q&A? Like, it's gonna get to the point to where it's like, girl, don't nobody even care anymore. I personally don't really care about it that much. I'm still a little curious just because I want to see if she's gonna admit certain things. Like, you still denying your kids? I know she got kids. Y'all can't even say like, oh no, she doesn't have... She has to have some kids. He made a joke about it and said she had a team, a football team. You're not going to joke about that for nothing. You're going to... There's some truth behind it. There's something. You're not going to... You know, in the beginning, she wasn't all secretive. It wasn't... I feel like she gave Walter talk telling him, don't say this, don't say this, don't answer this. But it's like in the beginning, I think this was like their first video. If she didn't have no kids, he would have just said no. You know, it would have just been a no. But he made a little jokey joke about it. Basically letting it be known like she got kids. I know she do. She's 37. And she looked like she'd been around the block a few times. And I seen a comment on somebody's, um, some comment that um was somebody who looked up her um her record and apparently she was engaged so it's like you were engaged you had a fiance so that means y'all had to kind of put in some time you know and you know a, a decent amount of time to become fiancés so y'all didn't have no kids any nobody had no kids in 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 the you know, that whole time span or nothing. 37 is just kind of, it's kind of up there for a woman. I can see men don't have kids because usually, and it's, I'm not saying everybody, I'm just saying like from my experience of what I've seen and stuff and what I've heard is most men who don't have kids at an older age, it's because like if they did get somebody pregnant, they aborted or they miscarried or something like that. Walt's even a little suspect for not having kids. He keeps saying he doesn't have kids, but then when he first went on Beloved's page, he said he had a daughter that wasn't biologically his, which I'll be looking at him sideways like, you gonna claim her or you not? Stop, stop. Don't tell this girl this is that she's your daughter and, you know, you treat her like a daughter, she calls you dad and all that stuff. But then as soon as somebody asks, do you got kids? You so quick to say no. Like that would hurt me as his daughter. But back to Nisha, I know she got kids. <laughs> I know she got kids. It's just like, I, I'm curious for the Q&A just, just, to, just to see if she actually answers. Just to see. She ain't about to hit five. Like, she's been stuck at 3.8 for, like, a few weeks now. People were, like, over the whole, okay, once I get to 5K, Q&A. Like pe people are kind of forgetting about it and we're, we're, we're fig figuring things out already through the lives and stuff. Like we're figuring out the age we're figuring out. Um, I think somebody said she was a CNA. Like we're, we're figuring things out. It's, it's not really top secret anymore. We just want to see if you're going to admit it. Cause it's really weird to just withhold so much like i could see if people don't want to put you know their whole life on youtube but it's like girl okay answer answer one question are you and walt together it's obvious so why sit there and be like nope i need to get 5k for like girl what we already see it or is he just not claiming it does he is he in a relationship 
we know you think you're in one, but d is he in one? Or did he just need a place real quick? If he didn't need a place, would 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 y'all be in a relationship? I'm so curious what's going to happen when he goes to Vegas. I think she's just timing it though. I think she's timing it for whenever she get her, her grandma out. Seems like she leaving her wherever she at for extra long. <laughs> like when they first met, she was like, oh, I'm going to get my grandma out. She, she's about to come home. And then it's like, as long as Walt is there, what happened to grandma? Where's she at? You forgot, you forgot about her or something? I think she's about to time it to where when Walt goes to um, Vegas, she, she's going to try and go with them. That's what I think. Because at the end of the day, like at 37, you should have something. And she doesn't seem like she has anything. So she going to hop on his bandwagon. That's another thing too. If you're 37 with no kids, girl, you should have a lot. You should have a lot. You should have your own place. She got a car, I think. She got a car. But you should have your own place. You should have you a little career, a bomb ass, I mean, a bomb job. <laughs> Sorry, mama. A bomb job. <laughs> Or, you know, you you should be doing better than the average. Most people who, you know, are struggling or, you know, staying with people or, you know, they got kids. But you're one person. Just like Walt said with um Adrian, it's like you're one person. So you mean to tell me you couldn't get your one person self an apartment, a studio, nothing? Like nothing? You have nothing to show? You have... you. If, if you have no kids, you could have been, got your little fake businesses up and running and stuff. You have nothing to distract you. Nothing. That's why I know she got kids. That's why I know. So we're going to see when she go when he goes to Vegas, we're going to see if she tags along. If she tags along, it's because she needs to. Because from what I heard, she got like six evictions. Like, how do you even get six? I thought after one, they don't rent to you no more. Like, where are you at that is letting you get to six? How did you get to two? Like, what? What What? what, what kind of scamming are you doing to have six evictions? They fall off after seven years. So you mean to tell me you got six of them back to back to back to back? How does that even work? So she for sure about to hop on... um. Walt's bandwagon, that's her only out. She ain't got no choice but to live with her grandma. So if she want to be with him and have a man, she going to have to hop her butt on and take that train like he going to ride track, take to Vegas, which is going to be even worse. It's going to be so much worse because there are so many people, okay, in Vegas. Vegas is a known place, so you're going to get all kinds of females like, hey, Walt, come collab with me, blah, blah, blah. When people, people go on vacation in Vegas. So it's like, he, he'll easily get a bunch of collabs and she will hate it. He's going to probably smoke more because, well, maybe. I, I don't understand the difference between what he's going to do, where he's at and in Vegas. I know weed is legal in Vegas, but it's like, so what is the issue? Like, is it that you'll be able to buy it more or smoke it because he seemed like he smoked a lot already so what what difference does that make if it's legal or not if it ain't legal in milwaukee you still smoking it and buying it so i i'm i don't get that whole part like unless he's about to be like a super pothead because he can go to dispensaries and stuff in vegas i don't know but just the fact that that's his motivation to go would be a problem for me <laughs> like you you gonna move all the way across the world for some doty like really? That's 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 the priority. Is <laughs> that's the goal? Is where it's legal? Like it's it's red flags on both ends. That's why they not gonna make it. <laughs> they not gonna make it. She got red flags. He got red flags. It's just a whole mess. But what y'all think about it? Y'all think y'all think she she's sitting there angry at us? <laughs> What y'all think she mad at? <laughs>
<laughs> what y'all feel about the whole situation? Let me know, because I like talking about it. I like comparing stories and seeing if somebody else noticed something I didn't notice. I'm going to watch the live again just because the first time I was reading comments, and then I rewatched it again, because I always rewatch it after the comments just to um actually watch it now. But what y'all think? Let me what know what you guys think. If you guys think Nisha got kids, if you guys think she's going to go to Vegas, like, let me know. Let's talk. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up just to tell me that you are here and you viewed it and you enjoyed the content. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Everyone counts and I appreciate every single one. And go ahead and hit your post notifications so that you will know when my next video comes out. All right, you guys. Bye.